Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today, finally, new ramen recipe. I know you guys will be waiting for my new ramen recipe. And you know, all my ramen recipes are like going viral. So I'm expecting this to go viral, okay? So watch it, like it, comment, and share. And try it, take a picture, and send it to me. So anyways, um, I will be making my ramen broth already, you know, because ramen broth takes a quite a long time, and this is how I made it. In a large pot of boiling water, I blend the five pounds of pork bones. You could use pork neck bones, rib bones, leg bones. You can use any bones. I'm actually using the mixture of it because that's what my Asian grocery store had it. Only neck bones are completely fine, while only leg bones are completely fine too. Blend the pork bones for 10 minutes on high heat. This way we can get rid of a lot of those blood and some guts that like, you know, like a little dirty pieces that we do not want to eat. Don't worry, we're not losing any flavors. This is just gonna make this ramen broth so nice and clean, and later on, it's gonna be so deep flavor. Meanwhile, the pork bone is blanching. I just quickly broiled my two large legs that I cut it in half and cleaned all the way through. Three large slices of ginger and three garlic bulbs. Put all the aromatic vegetables on a baking pan, then place on the highest rack of a preheated high broiler and broil for five minutes. It will burn a little bit. It's completely fine, completely okay, because we do want some of the pieces of the vegetable get burnt because that's where the smoky flavor will come for the broth. Drain the pork bones and rinse under the cold water and wash each bones nice and clean. And also rinse through your pot quickly and then place the pork bone back to the pot. Since this is a Sichuan ramen noodles, I'm gonna add a little extra flavor by adding five cardamom, Chinese cardamom. This is what it looks like. You can find this at Chinese grocery store or online. I will put the link down below so you can check it out. And five slices of licorice root. And nice and smooth sweetness, we are gonna add large pieces of rock sugar. Then pour two cups of Shaoxing wine, Chinese cooking wine. Five cups of chicken stock. And finally, 22 cups of cold water. Cover, bring it to boil over high heat, then reduce the heat to medium and simmer for three hours. So my ramen broth has been simmering for about two and a half hours. It's almost three hours. That's why I started working on my char siu. So what I had in Taiwan, they had this huge chunk of pork belly, bam, bam, like two chunks of pork belly, bam, bam, in the ramen. And that was the best part of that ramen. So I'm gonna do exactly like that. So I'm just seasoning my pork belly with some salt and pepper each side. I'm gonna sear them before pop into the broth. Sear them super light golden brown. You don't want them to be like too dark brown because I want them to be still nice and soft and tender. We're just slightly you know, searing them. Now I'm going to add this seared pork belly into the ramen broth that has been simmered for three hours. Cover and let it simmer additional one and a half hours. And meanwhile, we are going to make pare. 
Tare is a based seasoning for the ramen. It will give all the, you know, the saltiness, extra flavor, and either spicy or sweetness, all the flavor is going to add from tare to the ramen. So you want to make this sauce for the ramen separately so you can keep the broth separately nice and clean. If you want to freeze it, you can go ahead and do that. That's why I like to make separately, and this is a traditional way to make ramen. That's why I'm doing it. So for the tare, you will need... First ingredient is my chili oil. It's not advertising. It's kind of advertising. Go ahead and watch it. Do not skip the ad. And this is the best chili oil you will ever put it in your mouth. I'm the serious. Um, so you will need three tablespoons of my chili oil, five tablespoons of oyster sauce, four tablespoons of gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes. If you don't have it, you can use either cayenne pepper or paprika. This is for the color. And four tablespoons of toasted, then grind citron pepper corn. So I lightly toast them on the dry pan and pound it in my uh, model and pester, just like a little powdery texture. And five garlic cloves that I chopped and three quarter cup of Shaoxing wine, Chinese cooking wine, and lastly, quarter cup of water. Now place the sauce mixture onto a stove. Turn on the heat to medium high and mix everything together. We are going to bring them to, you know, like a little soft boil and then reduce the heat to medium and simmer them about five to seven minutes. This sauce is like a volcano, it's like like all around my counter right now. To your taste, go ahead and add about half to one teaspoon of salt. All right, my tare is done. This is good to go. I'm just gonna set aside and now I'm going to prep our ramen noodles and the toppings. I drained the soup. Actually, Jacob and Hanya did. Um, I was just filming it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I, we, we drained the soup. I took the char siu out and I just kind of, you know, brushed with my chili oil to have a little more color. If you want to, you can actually pop into the broiler real fast to have a little char flavor or torch it. But I just want to keep it as the original that how I had in Taiwan. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. And I also blanched my bean sprouts uh, in boiling water. And I chop up some green onions for topping. And I have this baby corn. The ramen restaurant has as a topping, so I prepared as well. Our tare is ready to go. And egg, ramen egg. I have a recipe right here. The best ramen egg recipe you can find online. So check it out right here. Oh, I, have, I also have a black garlic sauce or black garlic oil. I'm gonna use a little bit like the restaurant did. If you wanna know the recipe of it, just please let me know. I have boiling water right here to cook my ramen noodles. It's actually the same water that I blended my bean sprouts. But anyways, I'm using this fresh egg noodles for ramen. You can find this either Chinese or Japanese grocery store, either fresh or frozen. If you cannot find these similar ones or uh, exact one, you can definitely use dried egg noodles or dried uh, ramen noodles. Those will work too. I'm just gonna drop it to cook it. And I just took about four cups of broth into the pot. So this is what you wanna do because this recipe makes a big portion of ramen broth. So I like to actually take some out that portion that I like to eat at the moment. That's what I like to do. The serving bowl, we are going to add about three, two, oh my. Into the serving bowl, we are going to add three to four tablespoons of this tare that we made earlier. Maybe two and a half will good for me. My broth is boiling, so I'm gonna pour about two cups of this hot pork broth into the bowl. It's really up to like one and a half cups to two cups. 
to mix it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's gonna be so good. The devil's ramen bowl. And just smudge the noodles into the broth. And then, you know, lay the noodles down like this. I cooked a little extra noodles so you can guys you guys can see what's going on here. Then I will top it. is going somewhere right now. It's going somewhere. Don't forget to add ramen egg. And because this is, uh, you know, Sichuan ramen, I'm gonna add a little extra Sichuan peppercorn. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing to myself. And some sesame seeds. Okay, that was better. Booyah, <laughs> we're Need to taste the broth first. Oh, I know. Mm. It's not as spicy as I thought it was going to be. Mm. <laughs> I'm so happy just from tasting that little bit of the broth. I mean, if you guys want to, you can definitely add the extra chili oil. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, you gotta look up at the, like, you can't, it's, we're, we're trying to give them a, like, what, how we like it. I guess I you really like it. it if you're like, your head's doing. I love it. Mm. All you gotta know, it's mm. amazing. That pork, so tender. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't want to, like, so you're so hard to kind of give that little residency. I just want them to be like super tender and just melt your mouth. Mm. And you gotta wear your neuter shirt when you're eating it too. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm not wearing them. Well, you're the host maker chef, so you're okay. It's like hot and cold because mm. of the Szechuan pepper. Definitely warm. Mm. Dance. It does. A little extra chili oil for me. She's crazy. She's She's crazy. Stop her. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yes, more chili oil, please. Sichuan numbing. Mm -hmm. the chili oil spicy. The subtle sweetness. It's so delicious. Mm hmm. These are good bowl of noodles. Mm hmm. Okay, guys. Uh -uh. Guys, if you guys like my spicy or Sichuan ramen recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sang Yong Longest. I'm Jacob Longest. Han Yong Kim. And this is Asian at home. If you make a recipe, take a picture or video, tag me on Instagram and Facebook, Sang Yong Longest. And so I can like, comment, and reshare. Okay? I love you guys. Bye. Bye. Mm. Sit down. Mm. 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 Mm.